Hello. Hello, Jesse. Who's this? This is Roy from the Goodwill. You bid on a Nintendo here. Bid it on. Do what now? You bid on a Nintendo. You know, yes, you, sir. you wrote your name down in a book. Yes, sir. And you bid a hundred. I thought that bid was taken for three hundred. They didn't ever come get it. Yeah, no, you're the you're the most recent one. But you know why? Because we found out that you modified everyone else's bid. Like we have you on security. Dude, what? We have we have you on security camera. You were in here like erasing people's bids and making them lower and like scratching out their phone numbers. It's kind of a dick, no. It's kind of a dick move of you to do something like that. Nah, man. How about I got the Elvis ones, man. I did a hundred, and then everybody else, but it was scratched out below that. I think I bid it. The last time I went in there, it started out twenty five or fifty, and then it went to a hundred, and then I. I stayed at 100, and then I come back in, and I seen a bunch of other stuff scratched out. I didn't yeah. scratch nothing oh, out, no, man. You, I come down there. I got the Elvis ones, man. If anything I scratched out might have been a, one of my bids to go bid a, on higher against that. But I thought the Nintendo was taken whenever someone bid $300. No, we, we recognize you your know, handwriting. How do you know it was me? How do you know that I'm the one that scratched it out, that you can prove because I'm Jesse Arilla that put my name in numbers? It's in your handwriting. It it's in your handwriting. And also, you, you, you wrote Donald Trump here on the last line and wrote like $100 million. Dude, that ain't me, man. I yes, did it not is. write that. I come down there to bid on that stuff all the time. Oh, you're so full it of shit. It is not me. You are full of shit doing stuff like this at how our you store. No, you prove how, how? No, that is no way. I did not write of Donald Trump. Okay, then if I'm on camera, what do I look like? Oh, you look like a dumb hick that says things like, do what now? And we know nah, it's you. you tell me what I look like if I'm on camera doing it. You're the guy that got that Elvis thing, that stupid Elvis thing. They've actually paid money for that, you idiot. Yeah, I got that, but I'm just saying, um, on the other, the, the Nintendo, I did not do that. What'd you do with the Elvis? I'm the guy, okay, then who am I? Then what do I look like if I'm on camera scratching out everybody's name? Oh, what what did you do with that Elvis thing anyway? What do you mean? What did I do with it? Yeah, what are you doing with it? I'm just curious. Like, what would you do with that Elvis thing? You know, uh, how about my my uh, father-in-law loves Elvis, and I got it for him for a birthday present. Uh, why what did doesn't you just... matter what the fuck I did with it? Well, you should have just told your your father-in-law that Elvis is dead and move on. You know, just move on. Hey, man, who life. are you, Bubba? You know what? Listen here. You won't sit here and talk shit. Come on. You, I'll tell you one thing, motherfucker. Let me tell you something. Oh, don't curse at me. You want to sit there and run your mouth, man. I'll be down there. You work for Goodwill? Yeah, I do. And we're sick of people like you just scratching out numbers. I just, just you're, to, you're crazy, dude. To, I come down there all the time and buy stuff. I tr- love that place, trying, man. Trying I, wouldn't to, do, I wouldn't do that. That is not the kind of person I am. You tr- said I wrote Donald Trump and put zero, zero, zero after that? That is nonsense bullshit, man. That you're trying to, you gonna pin that on me, man. You're, you're trying you to tell me who the fuck, what I look like, man. This, this, no, nah, you're making me mad, dude. I, cause I don't do stuff like that. You're trying to rig the game, is what you're trying to do. You're a cheater. Nah, I ain't trying to rig shit, dude. Let me tell you you're something, a man. Cheater. I, that ain't me. You prove it was me, and and you no, know, I know for a fact it wasn't me. I, I had to charge you for this Nintendo, and then I'll just smash it no, with a baseball crazy. bat. You ain't charging shit for no Nintendo. And, and then instead of giving you, you a pro- good... No, 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 hey, no, no, shut no, up. no, 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 I will be down there, and, and you show me on camera where I, where I scratched it out. Oh, we, we have your handwriting analysis here. We we had a professional The do handwriting, it. everybody's got different and, handwriting, man. And we and checked... Them, that is not... No. We checked your DNA. Fucking DNA. You think you're a fucking yeah. prick, man. Let me tell but, you something, man. But listen, you, you I, don't know what you're talking about. I'm gonna you s- can't charge me for shit. I'm gonna smash this Nintendo with a baseball bat and then charge you for it. No, you're crazy. How you gonna charge me for it? I'm gonna charge you for it. First, I'm gonna smash it to pieces and then I'm gonna make How? you buy it. You ain't gonna make me do dick, bub, because I didn't. I didn't sign up. I, I put a bid down for a hundred bucks, and I said, "Well, damn, I, I know you I didn't did." Even wait on it. And somebody fucking got it for, I thought somebody got it for 300. And then you scratched out Corey's number thinking we couldn't read it, but we could read it. Corey? Who is Corey? Dude, I didn't scratch out nobody's number. He's the guy that you you outbid like a dick. You're crazy, man. I got money. I ain't got to do that shit, dude. I can't believe you'd be like this, you know, just just ruining everyone else's bids. This is supposed to be like an honest thing. I didn't ruin shit, man. You can't prove it was me, for one. Oh, yes, we can. two... 
I would never fucking do something like that. You're so dishonest. I, I mean, first you rig you the... You don't even know who I am, man. Yeah, first you who rig these you? bids, and then you start lying to me and saying you're not doing it. Dude, I know for a fact I didn't rig no fucking bid. Well, of course you're going to say that if you did it. Man, you dude, man. I Broadcasting from the PLA Situation Room in Roy, New Mexico. You're listening to The Snowplow Show. Now it's time on Prank Call Nation. Cactus. 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 Playing game. Cactus. 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 I'm not supposed to be doing this. Cactus. 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 This cocksucker. Cactus. 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 You've got to be crap on my ball. Cactus. 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 It's gonna be a fuck job to edit. Cactus. 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 are calling me a hobo. Cactus. 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 Roy the retarded boy. Cactus. 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 How about if I come down and punch your head off? Cactus. 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 You blowing smoke up my ass. Cactus. 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 You think a tracer can stop me? Hey there, you're listening to the Snowplow Show for April 7th, 2017. Today's show is sponsored by the Naughty Guy. That's K-N-O-T-T-Y Guy. Not to be confused with the Nobby Guy. That's a totally different guy. This is the Naughty Guy. Thank you, the Naughty Guy, for sponsoring today's show. We got a few new subscribers this week, such as Casey and Stephen O and Peter and Bill and Shane and Palindrome. Thanks, you guys, for supporting the show. If any of you would like to support the show, it's patreon.com slash phonelosers or phonelosers.com slash cactus. $5 a month gets you hobo sodes at least once a week, usually. I think we're approaching our 20th hobo sode now, so if you're not a supporter, you've missed out on 20 shows. And if you want to hear those shows, just sign up on the Patreon or on the website, and you can listen to the whole archive. It's the best scam I've ever come up with. You know, that last show I did, that was going to be a hobo sode, but then I just kept doing them. The one about the priority mailboxes. I was just going to do like 15 minutes of those, but they were kind of fun, so I just kept going and turned it into an entire show. So hopefully I'll get a hobo sode done this week. But if not, at least there was an extra show this week. I should have made that a private show. And speaking of the priority mailbox thing, I had this comment on uh, YouTube, which I found kind of amusing. This is a comment by Bananer1, who says, When I found out about getting these free online back in middle school, I found all the free boxes and stickers I could for free, and I put 999 as the quantity and ordered them and forgot about it, never expecting to actually get anything. A few months later, I woke up to my mom screaming my name, and I ran to see what the fuck she wanted, and it turns out they will seriously give you the maximum amount. The mail lady told my mom the entire fucking post office was full of my free boxes and various stickers. Someone had to take over her route for the day so she could deliver thousands and thousands of boxes and stickers to a 10-year-old. That was the best day of my fucking life. And I'm kind of wondering how you were 10 years old in middle school. I think when I was in middle school, it was like 13 or something. So you're obviously a genius. You're the next Doogie Howser or something. Probably graduated college in two weeks. And I forgot to mention that I've done the priority box thing, like for legit purposes. I just needed some boxes and the post office never had them. This was like six years ago and I just did it on a a sheet of paper. Like they gave me a sheet of paper and they're like, here, just order from this. I didn't use the internets to do it. But a couple weeks later, they brought me a shitload of boxes and priority mail tape. And I didn't even need the tape because all the boxes said priority mail on them. So guess what? We're doing a live show today. I did a live show a few hours ago earlier this morning where I called up people who bid on things in a silent auction. And that's what you're about to hear right now. So enjoy today's live show. Yeah! Hey, you want a taste of our new album, Dr. Feel Good, before it's out in the stores? Yeah! Enter the crew contest. Yeah! If you have a touch-tone phone, call us on the Motley Crew hotline. 1-900-932-8-CREW. Yeah! You could win a personal autograph picture from us or a personal phone call to your home yeah! while supporting the Make a Difference Foundation. That's 1-900-932-8-CREW. Yeah! I, I got an email from uh, Bob Vance, um, Vance Refrigeration. And he sent me silent auction phone numbers. And those are those, uh, you know, lists that you generally find in a Goodwill. You know, people want to bid on something and uh, for some reason they do it on paper. And like this first one is uh, the auction item is a Turtle Beach Stealth 400 headphones. Starting bid $15, minimum, minimum raise $3. 
And it looks like everyone obeyed that. Oh, except this guy in the bottom. He... He, tr he tried to do a penny, and then he crossed it out. Or someone crossed it out. Anyway, this is a silent auction place. I mean, it's a thrift store place. And I, I don't know what to say to people that were trying to bid on headphones. But, I don't know, let's just give this a call. Now that I'm looking at the handwriting, I'm worried these are, these are all going to be like little kids or something. Because <laughs> this handwriting... I don't know. I mean, it's just a thrift store. It's like a rescue mission thrift store type thing. And I'm harassing them, because I didn't think, you know, it was good enough for me to just harass Christian bookstores. I want to harass rescue missions! Oh, hello? Hello? I'm calling from the rescue mission? Yeah. Oh, hey! I, I, I didn't... I'm sorry, I was ranting about something. Is Anthony around? Um, he's not here, but... Ah, <sighs> He left. I think this had something to do with the thrift store. Yeah, yeah. He he bid on an auction thing for eighteen hundred dollars, and he won. I I couldn't believe 1800. he. Yep, eighteen hundred dollars for some headphones. Uh, there's some really nice headphones. Um, they're uh, Turtle Beach sure, Delft four hundred. You sure he said eighteen hundred? I, I think he made eighteen eighteen dollars. Oh no no! The bid was already up to. Up to like seven hundred at that point, he bid eighteen hundred and. Uh, he wrote that in there. Yeah, he wrote eighteen hundred dollars. One comma let me eight call him. zero zero. Maybe, maybe uh, let me let me let me call. What, what on three way? Let me call him. Are you gonna put him on the phone with me? Oh, hold on. Okay. Because <laughs> that'd be cool if you could three way him on. I don't. This is a new phone. I don't know how to do it. Oh, can I give you a call back? In, you can in two do minutes? it. I have faith in you. Just double click on on the the talk button. Double click on the three th it. three way icon. Move your mouse cursor over to the phone screen. And double click. I don't know what you mean. Right click on my name. Oh, your name. Anyway, like eighteen hundred dollars. Congratulations, Anthony. Just tell him that. Congratulations, Anthony. Okay. The, these headphones are his as soon as he brings that $1,800 over. Oh, she just hung up on me. She, I don't know. Oh, no, I remember I said everyone followed the rules. Nope, this next guy. So the first original bid was by the rescue mission. It was for $15. Anthony bid $1,800. I mean $18. Um, and then the next guy down, Alex, he bid $18. Like, doesn't he know how auctions work? He probably thinks it's like those one auctions that I did where everybody wins. No matter what amount you put in. That weird, weird art stuff that wasn't really art. So I guess I'm just gonna yell at Alex for not, you know, not understanding how to do things. Hello? Hi, is Alex around? This is. Oh, hey, Alex. Um, I'm calling from the thrift store, and you bid on these headphones for $18? Yes. And you outbid Anthony, who also bid $18. Oh, cool. Wait, no, that's not an outbid. That's the exact oh. same amount. Don't you know how auctions work, you big dummy? Like, so, you know, what happened? Well, the, the person that wrote on here before you, they bid $18. And then oh, you, did you, I put 18 too? Yeah, you big stupid. What, why'd you do that for? You big stupid head? Oh, man. Oh, an MJR, you know, said the thumb wrestling match to, you know, decide who wins. And too late. Maybe I'll say that in the next one. It looks like the next bidder is Valerie, and she did $21. Oh, no, actually, she bid $20 after the $18, but then she scribbled through the zero and turned it into a one, because she realized, you know, I've got to do $3 or more. Okay, someone named Ho wants me to tell him that the auction's Canadian dollars, not American dollars. And that comes out to about, uh, I don't know, $500 or so? Uh, you've reached Valerie, Stephen. Damn it, I'm not Valerie. available to answer the phone. Come on, Valerie. Valerie's going to pick up this time. I'm sure of it. Hi, you have reached Valerie Stevens. I'm not available. Valerie, okay. So I have four pages of these. I'm right at the end of page number one. 
hopefully this will be enough uh, you know phone numbers to get me through an entire 45 minutes of show hello hey Alex this is Steve Dave from the thrift store you bid on these headphones I don't that's my son probably did uh, it, it, uh, it says Alex on here uh, $25 yes, and, and, and one penny what what is it? This is this is dad. Oh, okay, yeah, it's a pair of headphones, uh, Turtle Beach Stealth four hundred headphones, for twenty five dollars and one penny. I have no idea about it, anything about it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I well, will tell him. Uh, well, you won. I will tell him tonight. You, you he Sorry. won he won the auction. It's a uh, twenty five oh one. But here's the thing: it's in Canadian dollars, and that comes out to quite a bit more than twenty five oh one. Canadian dollars. Yeah, Canadian, because because our um, our corporate office is based out of Can- Canada, and uh, Canadian uh, twenty five hundred one. Here, let me put it into the conversion calculator. Click, click, type. type. It looks like it's going to be eighty seven dollars and sixty three cents. Yeah, he's not but, buying no headphones. Well, why did he put he's his eighty dollars? Why did he put his name on here then? I don't know. He's twelve years old. Oh, is why it, you guys let him? It, well, is it because you're a bad father and you weren't watching him? Oh, the bad father. Yeah, I guess. Are you trying to blame us because you're a bad father, saying we let him? I mean, it's it's out here for the public. Anyone can sign. Uh, he's gone. <laughs> Did you hear that? Why'd you guys let him? What the hell? Like, it's our fault? Kid writes something in our book? Okay, this auction is for a, a Banchoed matching purse. Oh, Banchini matching purse. Wallet and compact. Made in Italy. Yeah, right. Uh, we only have two people on this one, and it looks like, um... Oh, no, I can sort of read the first names. They're a little bit cut off. Fucking Bob Vance doesn't even know how to take a photo. They got the amounts right, though. We got a bid for 18 and a bid for 21. What should I say to this person who wants a purse? Uh, a purse made in Italy. Wallet and compact. Hello? Hello, Sylvia? Yes. Hey, it's uh, Steve Dave from the thrift store. You bid on this banchoed matching purse, wallet, and compact that was made in Italy? Yes. For $18? I got it. Yep, and you know it's a man purse, right? Um, no, I didn't know it's a man purse, but it's that little, that little flowery one, right? Yeah, it's the flowery one, but, it, but they're like manly flowers, you know? It's okay, I liked it. Okay. Um, well, it looks my like my daughter. My daughter lives. My daughter lives in Fresno, mm-hmm. so I will have her come pick it up. Okay. Well, here's the thing, though. Um, you actually uh, on the auction. Uh, you tied with this uh, lady named Tanya. Do you know who Tanya is? Uh, no. Oh yeah, she bid the same thing. So is what we're gonna do is have you guys both come into the store, and you guys are gonna have a fist fight, and whoever wins gets the purse. Okay, tell her um, I'm going to come and kick her ass. No. <laughs> oh, no. I don't know. I've seen Tanya. Tanya's a big girl. <laughs> so am I. <laughs> well, we'll see about that. Uh, can you... We, we need to... For the... I'm in Stockton. For, what? I'm in Stockton. Oh, okay. Your daughter's in Fresno. In, that's nice, honey. Um, daughter's in Fresno. So, I live in Stockton. That's nice, honey. We, we need to um, get the weight class uh, measurements and everything. Uh, how much do you currently weigh? Uh, <laughs> you don't ask me that. <laughs> well, no, we need it for the the the, the match. It's part of the oh. the documents. The corporate office needs it. You know. Oh, I see. So how much? Uh, how much 10, do you? Huh? Ten thousand gold. Okay, that was stupid. I hated whatever attempt that was at a joke. Okay, so what's going on? Uh, I I don't know. Do you want this purse or not? Yes, I do. Is it you or your daughter that's going to do the fighting? Uh, what, are you, what are you really talking about? Do I get it or not? Yeah, well, you might get it. It depends on who wins. I mean, you still want it, right? Yes, I do. For eighteen, eighteen dollars, eighteen Canadian dollars. I don't know any Canadian money. Yeah, well, it's just a conversion calculator. Just put it in Google. It'll tell you how much. It's it's actually like seventy three dollars okay. total. Okay, so what are you really talking about? This, this, um, 
Uh, I'm talking about this Banchode matching purse, wallet, and compact. Made in Italy. Okay, I Ma- know that. Made in so, a sw- sweatshop by children. Okay, so... You know everything in it- Italy know? is made by children, right? In sweatshops, like little kids. Like probably a six-year-old girl well, made know. this purse for you. Hey. Are you telling me I'm getting the purse or not? That's why I wanted to know. Oh, yes you, or no? Am I coming down? Yes, so to get the purse. You get the yes purse. No. You well, if if you okay. if you can feel good about uh, using a purse that was uh, put together by a starving six-year-old child, then yep, it's yours. Okay, it's mine. I will send my daughter to pick it up. Okay, and tell okay. her tell her to bring seventy-two dollars because of the Canadian conversion rate. You're not. Are you kidding me? No, no, it's Canadian money. We're based out of Canada. We're a ca- Canadian company. And there's a conversion rate. It didn't say, okay, it didn't say that on the thing. Oh, it did in the small print. You just don't know how to read. You're picking on me now. No, I I'm don't not, appreciate no, that. No, I'm not picking on you. I'm, I'm not picking on you at all. I'm just saying you don't know how to read. Like, l- read the small print before you sign anything. And also, the, whoever that man was in the background, can you tell him to shut the fuck up while you're on the phone? Because, you know, we're talking. Who, who are you? This is Steve. Oh, wow. Did he reach across the, the car and, like, hit the button? Turn off her phone? I think he probably slapped, slapped it out of her hand, is my guess. Okay, I caused a man to abuse his wife. No big deal. Let's move on to the next one. Let's call up Tanya. That's a good idea. Cal 9000, I hope Tanya picks up. Cal wants me to say the purse contains a family of mice that she now owns. Tanya bid 21 bucks, 21 Canadian dollars on this purse. The purse was uh, once belonged to Osama Bin Laden. That was, that's from Min Max. Hello? Hello, please leave a message and I will get back to you. Fucking Tanya, let's try her again. Damn it, Tanya. Hello, please leave a message and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you and have a wonderful last day. I love these chat room ideas. I'm kind of sad that she's not picking up. All right, this uh, next one. Oh, I only get to call one person. Damn it. Um, Because the second person is that Alex girl that I already talked to. She's tongue up on me. Oh, you want new music, huh? Okay. We'll turn this on then. How do you like this? I want to be a technical writer. <laughs> Holy please God. leave a message. At the tone, please record <laughs> your message. What the hell was when that? When you finished recording, you... Holy crap. I, I want to call that one again just to hear that message. Please leave a message. <laughs> At the tone, please record your mess. He's like recording it while using a jackhammer, I think. Okay, no answer for that one. Someone says he was sitting on a washing machine. He's on a roller coaster. He works at the laundromat. Definitely a train hobo. Okay, let me move on. Next one. Alright, this one is... uh, Ah, there's only... Three numbers on this one. Shit, these are sh- short lists. Um, and, and Bob, Bob, uh, Bob Vance's damn hobo camera. It's all blurry and stuff. What the hell, Bob Vance? Yeah, Parkinson's or something. Okay, so um, this auction is for a Yashica FX1 camera with telephoto lens and case. Uh, somebody said the uh, the headphones were used to uh, listen to porn with. I think I'm going to do that for this camera. I'm going to say the camera was used to shoot porn with. Secret porn with its telephoto lens. Hello? Hey! Is this Matilda? I'm calling from the thrift store. You want an auction? A what? An auction. You want an auction for a camera with a telephoto lens and case? Oh, I did. Where was it? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! You won the okay, auction. So how, much that, how much did I get it for? Uh, 50 Canadian dollars. Um, There's something we have to disclose to you, though. Okay. Uh, This camera was, uh, it was seized 
uh, in a in an investigation in a raid, and uh, it was used to take a lot of uh, pornography pictures with its telephoto lens. Okay. Like it, it used to be owned by this peeping tom guy. He would go up in trees and just snap pictures really? in, in through windows and stuff. Yeah. So this camera has a lot of history behind it. Okay. Well, that's good for. So I owe you fifty bucks. I was just down there. I, I was just at, at the DMV, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Holy shit! You could have come and picked this up. Now you got to drive back out. If you call me, if you call. How long uh, do I have to come pick it up? Uh, you have two minutes left to get here. Two minutes. Are you almost here? No. Shit. Uh, I might be able to extend it. But I mean, you understand that this camera was used to take uh, photos of women who didn't know. You know, like. They they're just in a, well, I in a, mean, everything's a race. I mean, it's not got a memory in it. I don't really care. Yeah, but you know, he was probably out there, you know, whacking it while he's taking pictures and then rubbing his hands all over the camera. You want you really want to touch that with your with your? your yeah, with I think your, I think well, I can clean it for fifty bucks. Yeah, but okay. What if what if the pictures that this guy was taking were of underage people? You still want it for fifty bucks? Yeah, I still want it. Okay, that's pretty fucked up of you. Uh, the camera probably is going to give you STDs. Like, if you hold this camera, like, I think for uh, every time you s- click the shutter lens, you, you get AIDS. Uh-huh. Yep. I think I can clean that. All right. If If you feel okay about owning a camera that was used for child pornography, then it's yours. Well, apparently you didn't have any porn spots selling it. Oh, yeah, I'm a piece of shit. I just figured maybe... Uh-huh. I said, yeah, I'm a piece of shit. I'll sell anything. Well, I like it. Why do I pick it up? Uh, you have three minutes to get... <clears throat> it looks like uh, I can extend it to four minutes. You have four minutes to get here. I mean, what kind of shit is this? How long will it take you to get here? I mean, I'm just saying we don't have all day. We we don't have all day for you just drive around leisurely and you know you're supposed to be picking up this camera. Okay, well, what kind of shit is this? You just call me. I'm supposed to be sitting by your store right now. Yeah, why aren't you? Where are you at? How far away are you? I'm in. I'm uh, south of town. Okay. Did you know the camera smells really weird? What's that? The camera is, it smells really weird. I just I'm holding it right now, and I just noticed it, it smells really weird. It's the prank call. No, no. What? Why would it? Why would you think that? Well, you're fucking weird. You're a fucking weirdo. What the fuck is your problem? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not completely normal. I work in a damn thrift store. What do you expect? Where are you at? Let's go fucking. Where are you at? I I, 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 I you outside the fucking store, man. Is, is there two people why yelling at me or? Ass? I thought I heard someone else yelling. Was that someone else, or is it just you? Well, I mean, what, what is your problem? I don't have a problem. I'm just trying to tell you you won the camera, and that it smells funny. Okay, then well, what's all this other dialogue? I don't need to have that other dialogue. Well, I just, it's full disclosure. I'm supposed to let you know. The camera was used to take, uh, you know, se- what? secret what? sex photos. Why, and you just let me... Why the... in the fuck are you selling it? Because that's what we do. We, that's how we make a living here. The the lens has dried oh, cum oh, on it. Yeah, I don't need any of that. Hey, d- tell that person in the background to shut the fuck up, because you know we're on the oh, phone. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a hole in this motherfucker. You're gonna put a hole in me? Hey, what? I'm gonna stab you with a fucking knife. What? Hey, you can't do that. That's illegal to st- to stab people. <laughs> Sir, <laughs> crap! Someone's gonna stab me. Holy shit! <laughs> it only takes photos upside down. Should I call him and, and apologize or something? <laughs> yeah, why not? Let's call him one more time. He threatened to stab me, so the rules don't apply of only calling once. If they threaten to stab you, uh, all bets are off. Uh, Mika wants me to tell him to hang up the phone. Okay. He's not going to pick up, though. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice me- One more try. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Balls. Okay, whatever. We have 20 minutes left call the rest of these people whose names I cannot see. Uh, this guy, this is the camera still. This guy bid 60. Hello? Hi, uh, this is Steve Dave from the thrift store. You bid on a camera here. On the, you know, the brand name Yashica FX1 camera. 
uh-huh. the brand name that everyone looks for when they want to go buy a camera. Yeah, you won. You won the auction for sixty dollars. Okay. Sixty uh, Canadian dollars. It's hard to hear you. Can you speak the fuck up, please? It's like it's. I think you have your phone upside down. Wait, who is this? Uh, this is Steve Dave from the thrift store. You bid on a camera. Remember when I told you that like two minutes ago? Yeah, you don't have to uh, curse on me. Oh, and yeah, I just couldn't hear you. It sounded like you didn't know how to hold the phone properly. Well, you don't need to curse on me, dude. Oh, sorry about that. So, um, you're still interested in the camera then? Okay, that's fine. Just don't curse, you know. Why can't I curse? I mean, what's the uh, problem? I, why Why not? You are, you're an employee. So? This you're, is how you treat uh, customers? No, I'm not treating you any certain way. You're probably an employee somewhere, too, and I bet you curse sometimes. No, not if it's not necessary. And I didn't say anything. Okay, you. let's just get down to business here. So are you still interested in the camera? Oh, man. I had questions. Come on. I think I fucked that one up. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm going to call him back. <laughs> the camera appeared in Biodome with Polly Shore. Hello. Hey, we got disconnected somehow. I needed to tell you a few things about this camera. Yeah, uh, you're just talking to my son. Is there an issue? Uh, no, not really. Um, I just needed to let you know that uh, it's going to be $60 for the camera. But he just and, told me somebody was just cursing at him. Uh, I think that was someone in the background here in the store. It's one of the customers. This is from the Salvation Store? Correct, yeah. What's your name? My name is Steve Dave. What is it? Steve Dave. Steve Dave? Correct, yeah. Anyway, so $60. Do you know when you could come in and pick pick this uh, camera up? Put it. Nobody wants it. Well, why'd you put your name down on this uh, bid sheet? Is your son stupid or something? No, you are, bitch. I'll come over there and whoop your fucking ass, motherfucker. What's up? Well, I just, like, why would he put his name down here if he didn't want the camera? Is he- bitch, you're fucking recorded. I, he, I recorded the whole motherfucking thing. The way you're talking, I'll come over there and beat your ass for talking like that. All Get right. your ass fucking fired instantly or whoop your ass out that salvation. Are you recording the part where you're threatening me? Yeah, 100%. Oh, cool. I want to show that to the cops right after first. you yeah, beat me up. Yeah, yeah. Shove it up your ass, pussy bitch. I'll whoop your fucking ass, faggot. Yeah, what's he want a camera like this for? Why don't he just use his phone like a normal person? Is your, um, is your son he, weird or something? We're going to shooting your mom. Is he we're fuck- going to record your mom. That didn't make sense. Yep, it makes a lot of sense. Does it? Yep, so, shove it up your ass, fuck so, boy. So, hey, hey, I have some questions. So long, fuck boy. So long, fuck, fuck boy. boy. Hey, don't call me a fuck boy. That's uncalled for. <laughs> So long, fuck boy. That's how I'm going to end all of my phone calls from now on. So long, fuck boy. Okay, uh, the last auction page I am pulling up right now. And is it just one sheet? Oh shit, we've got several numbers on this one. Alright, so this is a guest purse with matching wallet. And I'm having a hard time reading these phone numbers, so this could be a problem. Uh, the bidding started at twenty dollars. The minimum bid raise is five. Hello. Hello, Kelly. Yes. Hey, uh, this is Steve Dave from the thrift store. You bid on this uh, purse, this guest purse with, uh, with matching wallet. Yeah, for thirty dollars, right? Correct. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, you won. I won. Yeah, there's actually some bids after you, but they they uh, weren't picking up their phones, and a couple of them to- like slammed down the phone on me. One called me a fuckboy. Uh, but so anyway, oh, yeah, I'm sorry, I didn't that's mean. That's a new thing. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So you won. You win the purse for thirty dollars. Okay. Awesome. Thirty and Canadian dollars. Can I pick it up tomorrow? Yeah. Sure. Did you look inside the purse by chance? I didn't. It was in the case. Oh, okay. Oh, I, I bet you I know why, because I looked in the purse a little bit ago, and there's actually a family, uh-huh. of, there's a family of mice inside of it. Uh-huh. Some some alive, some dead, but they're really cute. Oh, oh my goodness. Yep. And I mean, if you want to, you can probably transfer them to a cage. We sell mice cages here sometimes when we have them in stock. 
So you you might want to oh, buy, no. buy a mice a mouse cage. Are are you serious right now? Yes, I am serious, and I'm supposed. Oh, this is like. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, this is I I'm, I have to tell you all this stuff. This is like full disclosure, you know. Uh, it looks like uh-huh. at least two of the mice are gay because I've been watching them, and the, you know this is supposed to be a Christian organization, and I don't feel good about selling a purse with a gay mouse in it, but that one <laughs> one is def- definitely gay. <laughs> oh my god! Okay. Uh, is there any way you can get the mice out before I go and pick it up? Oh, no. Nope. I don't want rabies. Nope. Not going to do it. Oh, when you okay. When you pick it up, you're going to be walking out of here with mice, too. Oh, that's fantastic. Yep. Okay. Well, I will be in tomorrow. Okay. Great. You, you understand okay. that all gay mice have HIV, right? Uh, no, I didn't know that. Yep. Yep. All the gays do because they're gay. Okay. Yep. It's pretty much if you're gay, you're just born with it. You're born with HIV. So, got to be careful. Don't don't let these gay mice bite you. Yeah, for sure. Yep. Uh it says okay, it says uh, here on the the sheet here for the purse. Uh this uh-huh. is this is a purse. <laughs> this is a purse that once belonged to Osama bin Laden. Like this actual purse, the, the, you know, this is the purse that he owned. He carried it around with him. Okay. I during feel the like Gulf totally a prank call right now. No, why would you say that? Well, because you're laughing at all of the things that you're telling me. No, I didn't laugh. I, I, I have a nervous tick. And... You giggled. No, you're, no, that, that's giggled. a nervous tick. It's, it's, don't please. I can hear somebody laughing in the background. No, it's just me here, and you're making fun of my disability <laughs> and my nervous tick, and please stop. Okay, well, I'm going to go. Okay. Right? Okay, um, just so you know, you're, you're $30. Uh, it, uh-huh. it's it's money that's going to fund ISIS. It goes directly to ISIS. <laughs> okay. See, now you're laughing, and it's making me laugh, and it's not my fault. <laughs> because, I mean, do you even hear what you're telling me right now? That's just what it says here on the sheet. Because, you know, this is oh, like... Oh, okay, because I didn't read that. Yeah, like, when you go to Sears and buy a purse, you're not buying a used purse. It, didn't, it never belonged to anyone before. But here it's used, right. so we know who who it belonged to and who brought it in. And this one belonged okay. to Osama bin Laden. He owned it like 10 he years. brought it in himself, right? Well, no, of course not. Don't be stupid. Okay, I will be here tomorrow to pick up the first. Okay, all right, we'll see you then. Okay, thank you. Have Bye. a nice day. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> uh, thanks crazy Calvin for the ISIS idea and uh, who was oh Min Max had the Osama Bin Laden idea <laughs> yeah I should have asked her if she was high she seemed like she was on something okay next number on the list I only have seven minutes and then it's time for the XYZ show um and I have a few numbers left, and I don't think I can read this one, but I'm going to give it a try. This is Tanya. Oh, shit. I wonder if this is the same Tanya from before, the one I never got through to. Probably is. This number looks familiar. Hello. Please leave a message, and I will get back to you. Yeah, I remember her message. She never picked up. Please leave your message for five, five. Shit. Okay, next. Probably wasn't even a right number because I can't read any of these. Oh, man. I don't know if I can read the next two at all. Damn Bob Vance and his damn hobo camera. Hello, show sir, so we do special orders. How can I help you? Hi, is Lydia available? I think you have the wrong number. Ah, shit, fuck. Goddamn fuck shit. Okay, all right. Oh, wait, what about Roxanne? Yeah, no, wrong number, sorry. Wait, are you sure there's not a Roxanne working there? Yeah, no, Roxanne. Ah, shit, fuck. Fucking shit, goddamn fuck. All right. I was asking for the wrong person at at first. Stupid me. Uh, I don't know what else this number could be, so I guess that one just goes to waste. Let's try the next one. This sucks. It's so blurry, I can't read it. I'm just kind of guessing. 
I think this is the last one I can even try. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Okay, so it is 1227. It's about time for me to end the show. I'm going to make one last call before I end the show. We got to call the final boss. Um, let's see. Where's the phone number to the final boss? There it is, I think. Uh, I have no idea who that is. Um, this is Peter speaking. How can I help you? Oh, hey, Peter. I got a call just a second ago from your store about the auction that I won. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, what? Uh, I need to give you. I need to give you a phone number. Okay. A phone it's number. They're handling whatever that is going on over there at, at the thrift store. Wait, wait I'm sorry. Okay. What's going on? Did I not reach the thrift store? I must have dialed the wrong number. I'm sorry. Yes, it is five. Wait, I'm sorry. What are you giving me? What's this? This is a number to the thrift store. Oh, what did I reach? Uh, you've got the here at the uh, right on. Is it the one that st- is it the one that ends in O? Mm, yes, it is. Okay, good. Don't say it. Don't say it. My listeners will call it. We don't want that. Pardon, pardon me? You heard me. Okay, hang up the phone. Hurry up. I only have one minute. Okay. Hang it up. Hang it up. Okay. Gotta hurry. Only have one minute. Hello, this is Thrift Store. Hey, Thrift Store. Uh, I got a call um, about an auction. Uh, you know, like, uh, I want a purse... And someone from there called me. Was that you? No, uh, that was Dorothy. She's she's on the other line right now, and I put you on hold, and she'll answer you. Oh well, do, um, Dor- I don't know. It was a guy that talked to me. Uh, or- did you call somebody? Does Dorothy have a manly voice? No, she doesn't. Uh, okay. Well, they told me uh, that like I won this purse, this guest purse, and they said uh, it was going to come with a family of mice inside of it. Did you call somebody uh, about a guest purse? A guest purse. Oh, she sounds kind of manly. In the auction? Yeah. Oh, my God. Did you call anybody? No. No? Uh, it sounded like he well, did. That sounded like the guy. He handles the auction. Yeah. He's on the other line right now, and, and I can put you on hold until she talks to you. Okay, what did he say, oh, my gosh, for? Uh, it's all cause he's wearing a coach bag on him right now. <laughs> oh, is he making fun of me because I, I carry a purse? No, sir. He's not making fun of you. Oh, because it wasn't a coach bag? Is that what you said? Because it's just a guest bag. It's you know I know it's not as cool as coach. But. No, he's wearing a coach bag right now. And he's like, it was kind of amazing how you said you want a purse and he's wearing one on his he, shoulder. He's wearing a coach bag? Yeah. Oh, my God, what a fag. Can I talk to him real quick? <laughs> Hold on. Okay. Rod. Hello. Hey, um, have you heard anything about these uh, auction? Call- I mean, I, I got a weird call. Was that you that called me about this auction? Yeah. So, so um, that's um, and that this is not the first time that's happened today. Oh my gosh! Really? What? Like, what? What do you mean? What happened? Because they just told me I won the purse, but there was a bunch of mice in it. Bunch of mice in it? Yep. Oh really? Yep. I, yeah. Um, there's someone. Someone's taking. I guess someone's taking down people's phone numbers that are on in the auction items. Mm-hmm. And they're they're calling them, telling them they won this <gasps> and that. And when and they didn't uh, win? Yes. No, no. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Yeah. What, what kind of things have they said? Has anyone come in and and like uh, threatened to put a hole through your face? No, no. Oh, thank God, because oh man, um, like, did anything crazy happen with it all? Um, nah, not not too crazy. Oh, okay. What's the craziest story you've heard about all this? Um, I don't know. I haven't really heard nothing that crazy. Damn it. So did I win the purse or not? No, you didn't win the purse. Oh, damn it. I was really wanting this guess bag purse oh. with the matching wallet. Oh, is there, um... Let me let me put you on hold, um... Let me see if that's in the auction. No, right I now. have to go because it's time for the XYZ show. It's... It's. I, I really. I, I have to go. I'm sorry, but uh. Um. You want me to take down your phone number? No. No. I fuck thought. that shit. No. No. Fuck it. Um. Just hang up the phone. Hang it up. Hang it up right now, uh, motherfucker. You just hang that up. So. So you're the guy that's calling everybody, or? No. No. It's not me. I, I got the. I got a call from someone. From some weirdo. I think it's you. So just. Oh, for me. Yep. I think it's you. It's. It was your voice. It was. 
So, so long, fuckboy. You, know, you know, these calls are being re- recorded, right? Um, really, that sounds illegal. It sounds like it's against federal law because this is a two-party is state, so I would have to be notified yeah. if you wanted to record my call. So make yeah, sure you don't do that. That's illegal. You're breaking laws. Anyway, so long, fuck boy. That's how I end my calls now. I say so long, fuck boy. Uh, all right. You don't want to give out. You don't want to give out your phone number or nothing like that. No, it's on your caller ID. Just look on there. Oh, I don't have caller ID. I wish I did. Okay. All right. All right. So long, fuck boy. Hang up the phone. So I'd say the phone show was amazing. You should have been there. Uh, handed out a lot of uh, PLA cards. So I guess probably um, most people don't know what Steven's talking about. I mean, freak show Steven. But he went to this thing called the phone show where people just, I don't know, what do they do there? I never was too clear on that. But there was shitloads of old telephone equipment there. And he had a payphone there that had a PLA logo on the side of it. And he was handing out flyers for PLA. And okay, here, let's play a bunch this. Of old phone guys, they were going to give it a listen. And, uh, and he, he was handing out, you know, like uh, the URL to phone losers and people saying they're going to listen to my show. Since I put the PLA logo on my uh, payphone there, quite a few guys recognized it. So, it's a uh, good that's show. crazy. And. I uh, wish you could have been there. Uh, I'm calling in on an old uh, Western Electric 302 that came out of the free pile from there. Wow. Seems to work pretty good. So uh, I'll be posting uh, Sounds the, good. a podcast of all the uh, stuff from the show. Cool. And, see, and I'll be showing off some of the cool demos that people had there. So Cactus Cactus. Okay, where where do we go for that? What's your URL? Here, I'm going to type it into Google. Freak Show Telephone. And I can only find his YouTube channel, so I'll just uh, put a link to this in the show notes. And maybe he'll update me on where this alleged podcast thing is. Hi, Rory. It's Casey here. I just wanted to say that I'm no longer a hobo because I signed up for a Patreon at the $5 a month level. Yeah. Everybody else should sign up for a Patreon, too, at patreon.com slash XYZ QWA. Hey, hey, That's stop it. Com no, XYZ no, wrong. QWA. Bye. You can't do that. What the hell? Fucking XYZ, always trying to cause problems over hey, here. Hey, Brad, it's uh, two really quick things. Uh, first, uh, both responses to other people on voicemail. Uh, one person, um, they're asking who has uh, numbers memorized, especially for those that uh, uh, call in to the voicemail. Wasn't that often. you asking that? Um, as one of those people that calls in pretty often, I do not have the voicemail number memorized. Uh, who would? Uh, Come on. Uh, and then the other thing is, um, a little while ago, I know I'm a little bit late maybe on this, but um, somebody was asking what the episode was for um, uh, Mohawk Gardens, where we had the old people, yep. and uh, Mrs. Cotton, Crazy you know, people. Um, and uh, the original episode, well, there's a really good video on it that just summarizes all the good parts, and that's called Mohawk Gardens, and I said that before. But the full episode, I just come across this. I'm rewatching all the 2014 episodes. It's called uh, Snooty, S N O O T Y, Apartment Dwellers. That's on October 2nd, 2014. Okay. And that is the uh, Mohawk Gardens. Oh, Yay! Right. Hey, Brad. Woohoo! I will go ahead and put a link to both of those in the show notes. I've already found the the summary video. Hey, Brad, it's the Cisco Kid. Just calling in to say congratulations on no longer being a private investigator. The more time that you have for the PLA, the better. And the quality definitely shows with your hang-up-the-phone and three-hour Christian show. Oh, I don't know. It hasn't really started yet. I'm still doing that kind of stuff on the side. Hilarious. I uh, recently bought a PLA t-shirt. I'll definitely be sure to wear it on my trip to Denver in about a week or so. Finally, I have a very important message to announce Baba Booey, Baba next Booey. time oh. on the voicemails. Oh. All right, Brad. Wow. Cisco. Away! Oh, sorry, sorry. I was... I was here, here, let, me, let me fix away. that. Cisco. Away! There we go. That's better. So we're ending voicemails on cliffhangers now. That's great. Hey, Brad. You need to fire whoever that woman secretary is that you have an answer on your secret line. All I wanted to ask she was won't stop answering. when you subscribe to the Patreon, Patreon, how do you get the secret shows that they show up on the podcast or do you get them on the website? I don't know. And I wanted to ask and she just hung up on me. Oh, no, no, I slapped the phone out of her hand. I'm like, how dare you come to me with those with questions like that? 
So that was my fault. But yeah, you just sign up for Patreon and uh, all of the hobo sodes are in the Patreon on patreon.com slash phone losers. It's all right there. Or if you decide to sign up through the website instead through phone losers.com slash cactus, they will also all be on there. You just go to phone losers.com slash hobo sodes. And there they are, all 19 episodes. It's like magic. Hey, Brad. It's Alan. Hey. I just want to say, fuck you, motherfucker. Hang hey. up the phone. Hang it up. You hang it up. Hang up the phone. You hang it up. Hang up the phone. Okay. Thanks for the voicemail. I think he hung up. I'm pretty sure he hung up, so I'm just going to stop playing it. Hey, Brad. It's Olga. Hey, Olga. Um, a couple of things. Uh-oh. First of all... That didn't sound good. Uh, fuck those people... Um, who thinks they started the Hey Brad thing? That was yeah, me. no kidding. Bunch of I thieves. I started that shit. I know. I was the one who was like, Hey Brad, it's old. As long as I know, that's all that matters. The other yeah. thing is, I finally caught up on all your shows. Oh no. And I noticed that on one of the last shows, um, you called someone in Houston, some store in Houston. Oh no, he actually. got something at a 7-Eleven, and... I was, like, giggling to myself, because I'm like, there aren't any 7-Elevens in Houston. Yeah. That, that guy was... could totally see right through you. But no, then again, no, maybe no, you don't know. understand. It wasn't Houston, Texas. It was Houston somewhere else, and it was spelled all weird. Like, H-U-G-H-E-S something, whatever, you know? It's not Houston, it's Houston. That either. I think. They're all gone now. No 7-Elevens here. Ah, uh, you're lucky. Anyway, bye. Those are crappy stores. Who goes there? Hey Brad, this is Jim in Missouri with no nickname. Uh, I'm just calling to ask a general question. I've stopped trying to guess your profession and that moved on. No one will ever Except know. A defeat there. But um, my profession I, uh, apparently is making prank calls. Last episode, I noticed you mentioned that you lived, uh, you worked at Long John Silver's in Texas. Yeah, in Houston. And I realized not long ago you said that you lived in Ohio, and I think before you said you lived in Illinois and Missouri. Yeah, I'm a hobo. And now just, Oregon, and yeah, I've got... I just ride the rails, ride around on boxcars and stuff, and I don't know why his voicemail cut off there, but it looks like he called back a few minutes later, so I'll go ahead and play this one since you got cut off. Hey, Brad, Jim, Missouri again. It's a short one. Colin, uh, in response to, uh, I'm didn't catch the name. The, uh, the Scottish Nobby guy, uh, yeah. don't mean to... That fucking guy. I just, uh, he asked about the song. <laughs> uh, that is We Like to Party by the Vinga Boys. Oh, of course. Uh, I believe yeah. that's their name anyway. Everybody knows uh, that. Just, uh, I don't know if I want a t-shirt or what or where and how I pick that up, but... Uh, it's in the mail. I'm correct. Hopefully I'm, uh... Uh, not making an ass of myself. Okay, thank nope, you very much. Mike. Not at all. The Nobby guy assured me that he would send one out immediately if anybody guessed the song title. I'm sorry, Nobby guy. I don't actually know your name. I think you may have said it before, but you're always screaming into the phone. I can never understand you. Brad. Brad oh, Loke. I swear, I did not know it was going to be him. This just happened to be the next voicemail in line. Yeah, I, uh, I heard that, dude. Oh, uh, wait. <laughs> that was somebody imitating him. Holy shit, it fooled me. I wondered why you had a United States phone number. Brad, Brad, I call him Nobby. <laughs> yeah, I, um, I heard that dude. Um, that song that he fucking was singing. <laughs> and uh, I recognized it. That was the We Like to Party. Yeah, we like, yeah, that's we great. Like party. Thanks, Nobby guy, for doing this go. to my voicemails. Now I have to go and shove a pencil in my fucking ear because... I'm embarrassed to admit that I know what that is. Oh, come on. Everyone knows that. Not me. I think he was just kidding around anyway. Hey, Brad. It's Minnesota Kyle again. Uh, Hello. I need to call in. Talk to Arizona Kyle. Tell him. There's really only room for one of us yeah. in here. So Fuck he Arizona Kyle. Stop listening or at least stop calling in and letting me know that he's listening. That'd be great. Yep. And I also was trying to find out if Carlito doing anything new or where i can find any of his new stuff because he's I doing didn't... one thing that's new he's doing the calls of mass confusion the latest episode episode five it just came out today it's got carlito and dwight and me in it so if you're looking for new carlito stuff that's a good place to listen over on youtube.com slash jesus in a dump truck i haven't heard about him for a little over a year now oh I'm come on kind of worried about him. he still does shows all the time he's always on prank call nation still on the mixler him and Dwight, always doing shows. 
I think he was on last weekend. I think he was on the weekend before that. Prank Call Nation never really shut down. They were just trying to trick me into leaving, I think. I hear some of calls and whatnot. So keep up what you're doing. Okay. Arizona Kyle, please stop calling in. Yep. Arizona oh. Kyle, you're not allowed to listen anymore. Stop trying to cause problems for everyone. Hey, Brad. It's, uh, well, it's user fan with PH. Uh, right now it's mm-hmm. 1141 here in the central time. And, um, I am, what am I? I'm 187 miles into my day so far. Probably going to be doing two to three to 400 miles. And, uh, Holy thank you shit. so much for the new show. I really enjoy it. Listening to the voicemail. I need to make now, longer shows for you. Voicemail. We love you. Bye. Thanks. Uh, there's a website called evilbible.com that's loaded with all kinds of verses that I'm sure you could use on various shows. Ah. Uh, but the tone is pretty rough against Christians. I'm not sure if that's something that you really want to inject in your show or not. But oh, if you're looking for a more lighthearted website that has the similar Bible verses, uh, there's the Landover Baptist Church, uh, landoverbaptist.org. They have a lot of uh, more lighthearted and funny uh, quotes from the Bible because they'll put something like what would Jesus do on a thong and stuff like that also uh, I sent you a tweet showing uh, a clip from the Simpsons regarding uh, building and uh, <laughs> building boxes a huge box fort and fighting uh, oh yeah fighting I've post- seen that. postal workers Ooh. I thought maybe you'd get a kick out of it considering that you did a whole thing on getting tons and tons of free boxes. Uh, you know, okay, thank you. Talk to you later. That's what I didn't do. I've seen that episode of The Simpsons, and that's one thing I completely forgot to do. I forgot to say I wanted to make a box fort. Make a big castle out of post office priority boxes. Hey, look, I just found The Simpsons box fort clip on YouTube. It's a little over four minutes long, so go to the show notes, and there will be a link to that for you to watch this if you've never seen it before. How are Finally got through to you. Long time listener, been listening since the 80s. You didn't really get through to me, because, you know, it's a voicemail. Anyway, uh, big fan, Howard. Hope uh, Rob is doing good and all that stuff. Yep, yep. she's Probably. doing great. Thanks for asking. Hey, Roy, quick question. Um, so a long time ago, apparently, you, you had made a torrent for Rappy, Rick, Rappy McRapperson stuff. Yep. Um, I was just wondering, does that torrent still exist? Are people it does. It? Can, I, can we get a link to it? Um, yeah, peace. This is user friends, PH. Bye. Ah, you again. Yeah, it's still up. The only reason that I have all of my Rappy McRapperson music back is because of that torrent. Otherwise, I would have nothing to play on the live shows because everything else is copyrighted that I have. People are definitely seeding it because it just took me, I don't know, maybe a day to get it all. And that was four months ago, so hopefully it's still being seeded. It's been up there for years, so they probably are. You can find that by going to phonelosers.com slash torrents. And it's like, you know, the third or fourth one down on the list, I think. I am putting a link to that in the show notes on phonelosers.com right now, just for you. Hey, Brad, it's Rev. Hey, Rev. I guess people weren't happy about the show that Casper and Timothy sponsored. I'm getting a lot of complaints. Oh, shit. So, uh, I guess I gotta beat Sorry. the crap out of them. Oh, yeah. Please do. Oh, shit. Beating the crap out of his guinea pigs. That's not good. This is like when I knocked the phone out of Sunshine's hand the other day. Okay, thanks, Rev. I guess I guess that's. Oh wait. Okay, well, I just got my butt kicked, so oh. I guess they won't be trying that again. Thanks a lot, Brad. Oh well, Practice you tried. Practice. That's all that matters. I'm sure you got a few good jabs in, so thank you for keeping up your end of the bargain, being a show sponsor. Hey, Brad. Hey. Um, this is Ryan. Hello. You responded to me on your Facebook post about oh. your telephone handset sanitizer. Oh, yeah, that old thing. Before the incident, I need to know, and I demand that you tell this story of the handset sanitizer. Well, come on, j- just watch Love the, the news. Keep up with current events from the 1960s, you know? A lot of people don't know this, but when we used those old telephones back then, you had to sanitize it after each use, and I posted a picture of a telephone sanitizer on my Twitter. Here, I'll find that and put a link to it in the show notes, since I'm linking everything in the show notes today. Basically, though, every time you used the phone, when you were finished, you had to set the phone down on the sanitizer machine and push the button, and it would sanitize your handset. It took about six minutes, so you had to wait six minutes in between phone calls back then, unless you, you know, ran to a different extension phone or something. Like, if our phone rang during the sanitation cycle, we had to run down to the basement and use the phone there or go into the den or use the payphone in the family room that my dad put up to teach us kids about financial responsibility. But I'm just referring to general incidents from back in that era where, you know, people would actually die from 
diseases that they contracted from a dirty telephone. You should read some of the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. I think he talks about that a little bit in there. Because back then they had、uh, payphone sanitizers and stuff, and they shipped them away to another plan. I don't know. It's a whole thing, the, the incident. Just go read some news articles about the subject, and you'll, you'll see. Anyway, that's going to be the end of the show today. So thank you, everybody, for listening, and thank you, Naughty Guy, for sponsoring the show today. The Naughty Guy is one of the many people who support the Snowplow Show and the PLA and help make more shows happen, which should get completely out of hand soon with me doing less of my real life work. So thank you, Naughty Guy, and all of the other people on Patreon and the Phone Losers Elite Cactus Squad thing, whatever the hell that's called. All of you are making this possible, including but not limited to Cluto and Miguel F. See, there is another Miguel, Mr. Miguel B, and it's Miguel F. Uh, and then there's Ben Hard and Default C, Jason B, Brian W, Todd L, David P, and Gizmo, and Stan Trucker, and Meows Wow, and Elky, and Pat D. I'm reading sponsors from months ago, by the way, if you're confused because you're not a sponsor anymore. But we can't forget Rhapsody Man 2000, and Milk Brain, and Bobo Bob the Hobo Bob, and High School Graduate, Jeff, Brian, Kyle, Default C, Robert S, Jason B, Cody A, Mike U, Worsty, Ty A, Buster C, Honey Baby, Curbs, Julian J, David P, Todd L. Thank you, everybody, for supporting the show and helping all of this get out of hand. Keep it up, and before you know it, we'll have a whole cult going here. And I'll be able to buy a bunch of property and build some large structures and stuff with bunk beds, and we can start an actual cult. It's going to be great. I can't wait for that to happen. I think we're just two or three years away from that, tops. So keep up the support, everyone. Thanks a lot. See you next time. I met you in a toy shop. You were such a little-